Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk exploring England. My quest continues during the lockdown, and we're in May. This is the second of a couple of videos I've made where I'm skirting around Chantonbury Hill, which is behind me, with the famous Chantonbury Ring on the Iron Age hill fort that's on the top. And I'm starting here by Great Barn Farm again. And in my previous video, I went eastwards, which is that way, past um, beautiful farmland, the ornate walkway, and headed towards Stenning. Today, there's a footpath that takes me westwards towards Washington. I've never been down there and I want to explore it. So that is the direction I'm gonna to take today. Hope you'll join me. Let's get cracking. As before, uh, they have closed the car parks here so you can't access it by car and then just come down here and walk. You've got to find somewhere else to park and make your way on foot the mile journey from the, the main road. But that's not a problem. It's very quiet and actually quite safe to do that. And at the moment, the countryside is just abounding with all the beautiful flowers and shrubs that you would expect. I think there's some, <laughs> some dogs at Malt House Cottage, which are not very keen uh, to see me walk by, past on this country lane. Um, very good uh, burglar alarm, I imagine. Anyway, we are going, as I say, westwards, which is great because above me to my left is Chantonbury Ring. And we're going to sort of skirt around this on this lovely little pathway, which was going to be fantastic. But to the north, we get some rather amazing views. come into some, a wooded area on the track here and just behind me this great big indentation this sort of bowl effect clearly uh, at one point there was a little bit of mining going on for the chalk chalk extraction of course that all went on over the South Downs all the time the chalk being ideal for a number of things I've mentioned this many times of course agriculture for the uh, for the farmland and also for building um, work and making up um, the render. But absolutely stunning, beautiful uh, springtime walk with the trees. The, the vibrance of the green is what just takes your breath away. And it looks like these trees here are beech trees. This one is a beauty. Look at that trunk, quite exquisite quite mammoth. The view now is somewhat obscured by um, the, the gorgeous trees here. There seems to be a lot of a sycamore as well as uh, I think we've got an, an elder and uh, some hazel here. But there's a lot of mud on this lane. So I'm going to go around it as much as I can because where the chalk ends and the Sussex Weald sort of begins we get the mixture of the chalk and the clay and the clay retains much of that rain that we had we've not had that much rain but actually it's amazing how it's it has actually adhered in places in puddles along this a little bit rutted path. I think it's interesting when you look at these roads because it can remind you of what travel would have been like and here you see quite a bit of rutting on the water. I mean admittedly these are made from trucks and the wheels but of course any wheeled 
transport in the past would have just churned up this mud and, and I understand that Sussex was pretty much in the winter impassable you couldn't get couldn't get along it old barn here made out of corrugated iron which is which is quite unusual and then a view another view looking north right across the undulating uh, plains which are slowly sort of straightening out or flattening out just those sort of um, rural idyllic um, vistas that you can imagine have been there for time immemorial absolutely love it Right, looks like we're following this lane and this is quite a, a woodland path really. I go past this. This looks like Budlier in the, that I'm just passing, which has yet to come into life. And again, we're going up into more trees. I'm just looking to see uh, look like sycamore, possibly some ash trees there, but uh, beech I think as well. I think we're climbing now. We've climbed up a bit anyway. The path has uh, left the road, or rather the road has turned into a path. And look, there's this ornate little gatepost here. So it's quite interesting. I think that lane must have gone down to the barn and then stopped for now. We're just on a walkway. This is a very beautiful woodland path. And again, it's one of those tracks that when I used to go to Chantonbury Ring, bringing the children up there, or as a kid myself, would never, would never go down these pathways. I don't know, maybe they looked a bit boring, but actually it is a delight. Oh wow, have a look at this amazing tree. I don't know what it is or was, but it's certainly now an absolute haven for wildlife and insects, that sort of thing. How beautiful. I think actually looking at the bark around the side, I think it's a beach. Ah, I've got two choices here, the lower course or the higher course. What should I do? My instinct, well, part of me says take the lower course there's part of me that says take the higher course and I think the higher course probably must zigzag further up. Should we do that, see if we can get a view? I think we should. The other one probably just goes into Washington and going for the higher course. So up here, of course, <laughs> they may just converge and meet up, which is fine too. Here we go, passing some beautiful ash trees. Sort of double back on myself now uh, so it is zigzagging up here this path which um, is quite interesting we could have just followed the other one as I say probably in as far as Washington but this is actually quite quite curious to see if we can get um, above the trees and get a view to to end our video which would be fantastic and it's quite invigorating having walked on the flat for a couple of days to actually get the legs working properly and clambering up in this 
amazing and beautiful, fresh, clean air. And here, coming out into the open, into the, into the amazing blue. I've never been up this path before. This is wonderful. And here on the left, oh, I'm well out of breath. We get that amazing vista of Sussex, West Sussex, looking northeast. Isn't that incredible? Oh, I absolutely love it. Wow. And Chantonbury Ring, if I'm not much mistaken, is just up there into the sun. Whew. When I set out this morning, I hadn't expected to go up Chantonbury Hill. If you want some exercise, that's the way to do it. I didn't know about this path, as you heard, and I'm absolutely impressed. I think this is great. It's a less trodden path. If you want to get away while there's no people about, it's perfect. And obviously this path just takes you right down and I guess close to Washington. So if you park there, maybe you could do it from that direction or as indeed I did from at the top of the road to Chantonbury, from the Stenning to Washington Road. And there it is. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it. I really didn't. If I'd taken the lower path, probably as interesting, but not quite oh, exhilarating. So, I love it. Oh. Well, I think that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron if you enjoy what I do. Uh, any bit of uh, financial assistance really helps to get, make these videos and bring them to you. I've now got to climb all the way back down. I could complete the circuit and go down a different way. That is very true. But I may save that for another video. But from me, from today, thank you. I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye bye.